All right, John Devney here from Delta Waterfall in Bismarck with Delta Waterfall's the Duck Hunters Organization Mid-December Migration Report. Last time I was with you all at the end of November, I was standing in a snowstorm talking about the prospects that the snow and the cold weather was going to have to send ducks all down the four flyways. That's been borne out. We've been had reports from all across the country of hunting going from really pretty poor to really pretty fantastic duck hunting all over the place. So what we're going to do here in the next little bit is just go through a flyway by flyway report from our staff and others in the field to give you a sense of what's happening as we head into the what seems to be the peak of the duck season and heading into the holidays. This week we're going to start to see some of the coldest temps all across the country, especially in areas that are really important for feeding the Atlantic Flyway. There's going to be cold, really cold temperatures and snow in the east, which is really going to spur the migration even more. But even the storm that we had here a couple weeks ago has sent birds spilling down the Atlantic Flyway. Matt Nisley, our regional director in the Northeast, is reporting that all up and down throughout the Northeast, hunters are reporting increased success with lots and lots of more birds around. Remember, the report that Matt had a couple weeks ago was pretty grim. It had tough shooting, not much happening. That's all changed in two weeks. Uh, he's also, Matt, one of Matt's favorite places to hunt is the Susquehanna Flats at Haver de Grace, Maryland. And he's saying that there's a great push of divers in the northern part of the Chesapeake Bay and up on the Susquehanna River. So all those areas, sort of fabled old duck hunting areas in the Atlantic Flyway have benefited immensely from these cold temperatures. We're going to hear now from Kyle Winterstein, Delta Waterfalls Associate Editor, on what he's seeing in terms of duck hunting throughout the Atlantic Flyway. Hi, Kyle Winterstein, Managing Editor of Delta Waterfowl Magazine. Checking in today from central Pennsylvania where finally winter has arrived and along with it our first good push of mallards and black ducks. There's been a lot of migration activity in the Atlantic Flyway over the last few days with the snow and, and more freezing temperatures. Along the New Jersey coast, I'm hearing reports of greater snow geese, pintails, mallards, widgeon, uh, gadwalls, really you name it. There's a lot of waterfowl on the move. And on the Chesapeake, the bay ducks, your canvasbacks, bluebills, and redheads are starting to raft up in sizable numbers in the upper bay. and uh, hearing reports as far south as southern Virginia of pretty strong rafts of canvasbacks along the river uh, as well as the bay. So a slow mild start to our season but uh, now we're finally getting the right kind of weather and I think the next week or two are going to be really good. So that's what we hear from our friends in the Atlantic Flyway. Let's move over to the Mississippi. Uh, first sort of in the lake region, Eric Webb, our regional director in Michigan and Ohio, much like others, has reported the cold and snow has pushed a steady stream of divers and puddlers alike into Michigan and Ohio. Uh, Eric's saying that a bunch of the small, shallow water is being frozen up and hunters are now having to transfer to sort of more late season hunting areas, more big water. Uh, Nick Hampton, a regional director of ours in Iowa, in Nebraska, is saying uh, some of the guys in northern Iowa are starting to worry that they're going to be out of birds, the cold temps, the freezing has got birds moving, but he's thinking the hunting is going to be really good along the Mississippi River, uh, southern Iowa, and even into Nebraska. Moving a little further down into Arkansas, Ty Jean reported uh, Arkansas's second split just came in last Thursday. Almost perfect timing for the duck hunters in Arkansas. Those cold, the cold winds, and the snow pushed a lot of ducks into Arkansas during the split. The ducks had an opportunity to get in there, get settled in, and hunting success was very, very good on the second split. Not only were there a lot of ducks around, it had some significant rains in Arkansas, flooded up some of those uh, rivers, sloughs, and managed hunting areas, provided a lot more hunting opportunity. Uh, over into Mississippi, an area that typically in the Mississippi flyway shoots better late, um, we've had some good reports there in the last week that duck hunting has picked up with some heavy straps of greenhead. So lots of good positive news coming out of the Mississippi Flyway. We're going to go down to Garrett in Missouri to give you guys an on-the-ground look at what's happening down there as well. 
Hey guys, Garrett Trenum here, Regional Director of Missouri and Kansas with a migration update from Central Missouri. That cold front we got last week really gave us some good weather to move birds around and boosted hunter success. Um, we got up to about two inches of ice up in northern Missouri. Some of that's melted with the warmer weather and rain we got over the weekend, but starting tomorrow things are going to really lock up tight up here. Um, Good news is there's still some birds north of us. We've got a full moon coming in tomorrow. Duck hunters in southern Missouri and Arkansas should expect to see new ducks starting tonight and on through the end of the week. Brian Leach, Senior Regional Director, Delta Waterfowl, reporting to you from Southwest Louisiana, migration report uh, running the roads of Southwest Louisiana today near Thornwell, Louisiana, around all the rice fields. Um, as you can see behind me, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Large concentration of snow geese. I've seen many different piles of them. There's another big wad coming across the highway right there as well. But uh, good reports of new ducks as of the last weekend of the first split. Uh, lots of new ducks with uh, the big front we had that last weekend. Uh, we also have a new front coming this week that we're hoping to even push more ducks down. So Moving over to the Central Flyway. Uh, back here, believe it or not, we have a new duck season came in here on Saturday. Um, High Plains duck season provides us opportunity to shoot ducks here late in North Dakota. Problem is, there are no ducks. Um, the incredible snow and cold has moved our ducks south, probably now residing in a place like Nebraska, a place where the hunting has really picked up the last couple of weeks. We've heard great reports on some of the reservoirs in Nebraska, great reports on uh, some of the areas of the Platte River where shootings really picked up, which we'd expect with the cold and snow. As we move down the central flyway, um, areas like Kansas, Oklahoma are certainly picking up birds and we're starting to see ducks move into places like the Big Lakes in Texas, Texas Gulf Coast. So right now, lots of good news in the central flyway. I think we're hearing from lots of happy hunters all the way around. Um, and we're hoping that it sustains this way here with this next little cold front that's pushing through. And moving further west to the Pacific Flyway, the cold and snow has definitely helped duck hunting out there as well. Just this morning I talked to Mark Henley of the California Waterfall Association. He said that the, just this past weekend big numbers of ducks showed up, favorable weather conditions, and the shooting was very, very, very good on some of those Sacramento Valley refuges. So we're starting to see it there. We've heard good things about the Suisun Marsh. So it definitely seems like now, after a big lull in the California season, that the shooting has, has increased very significantly, and guys are starting to have hang some big straps. We're going to go up now to Washington and get a report from up there to see what's happening on the ground a little further north in the Pacific Flyway. Hey guys, my name is Desmond Weaver, chairman of the Delta Waterfowl Puget Sound chapter here in Washington State. I'm sure many of you have noticed that we have been having a very unusual migration this year. Above normal temperatures in the early season has kept a lot of birds up north. But with the change in the weather pattern over the last two weeks, below freezing temperatures on the eastern and western side of the Cascades, as well as new snow on the eastern side, we have noticed an increasing number of migrating birds. A lot of local hunters have reported seeing increasing numbers of migrating Canadian geese and mallards. But you have yet to report any large numbers of pintail, widgeon, teal, or divers. We expect over the next two weeks for the migrations to steadily increase. Slack water ponds are starting to freeze over, making the sloughs and rivers a lot busier. We expect the birds to be moving from these roosting areas to their food plots to fatten up for the winter. If you've been waiting for larger numbers of birds to get out and hunt, now's the time. We here at Delta Waterfowl hope that you have a successful rest of the season. And always remember, be safe and shoot straight. So that's what we know for now, for mid-December. Things are definitely looking uh looking pretty good here going into the holidays. We know that you, many of you are going to enjoy being in the duck blind with friends and family over over Christmas and the New Year's. We all want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll be getting back to you with another migration report after the first of the year.